So, do you want to create a custom WordPress dashboard? If yes, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Stratos and uh, this is a follow-up. I have made a video for creating a custom welcome screen, a custom dashboard in WordPress. Uh, I included this plugin, the dashboard switcher, and then uh, today uh, Simon, uh, who is the creator of this plugin, contacted me and uh, gave me an idea. I wish it was my idea, but unfortunately it's his. So basically I think that was the purpose of the whole plugin. And I didn't understand the purpose at that time I made the video. So because I find it, uh, the idea is great. I wanted to make another video to show you what exactly is the plugin for it's not that you don't uh, you can't use it as i showed you but this is a great idea to use the plugin so this is the plugin i will put the link in the description below uh, it's uh, for 24 bucks at this time and the the price will increase soon at 74 70 sorry 47 bucks in 88 days and as you can see, there are new features now, admin pages, uh, secure for the iframes. And if I go, if I scroll down in the change log, I will see the version 1.0.8. As you can see, the developer uh, is putting an effort here. It's working uh, in 20 days. He have released something new and he keeps pushing the plugin. So I'm very happy that I stick to it and hopefully uh, Simon will keep pushing the plugin and adding new features. So let's go and see what we're going to do. We have a local website. It's a local host a WordPress environment. And I have the dashboard here. As you can see, it's the default dashboard. And I have already installed the plugin. Let's go to install plugins. And as you can see, the dashboard switcher is here. Okay, I'm using Oxygen here. And let's see, we're going to create a dashboard, but we're not going to create it in our website, in our local environment. We're going to create it in a website live. So basically the idea is you have a website, you have a live environment, your website, you are an agency, you are a developer, and you make websites to your clients. You have a website, you go into your website, creating a land, create a landing page, create a, create a page that you want uh, all the dashboard of all the clients to have, and then assign the URL of that page into every client's dashboard. So basically, you have the, your number, your email, your information, videos, and everything you want. And if you want to update something, you'll go ahead and update it one time, and it will be a bit updated in every website. How awesome is that? So let's go and see what we're going to do. I have here a live uh, website. Uh, I'm using the Oxygen Page Builder. Uh, be sure to create a page that it will load fast. Don't use many uh, photographs. Uh, don't use many stuff. It essentially, it, it must be a, a fast uh, page to load. So let's go ahead and uh, we will create now a simple page. Okay, let's go at new. And we will name it dashboard. Okay, I will publish it right now, edit it with Oxygen. And let's go ahead and view the page and edit that with Oxygen. So this is the URL that I'm going to use. And let's go ahead and create the page. So I will keep it simple. I will show you uh, in two or three minutes what you can add. And then I'm going to assign the page to the website that I want. Let's go ahead and add a section here. Okay, this section needs uh, two columns. Okay, this will have a background. So let's go in backgrounds. Let's browse for any months and we'll put this background. Okay, and here I will put heading. Not here, sorry. The heading goes here. OK, 
okay and the here I will put contact us contact us assign the middle okay underneath that I will put something like a div and then inside the div I will put uh, social icons okay I don't I don't need a div for social icons <laughs> okay I shouldn't put a div you can put it by itself okay if you don't need a div don't uh, make one okay there's no need for a div here so just go and erase that okay I will give it some space okay I will give it 30 here no 40 40 50 okay let's go ahead with that give some space here a little less space here and more space after that okay and let's go to background and let's go here 50 and 50 and no repeat and cover not cover contain okay and let's go ahead in the div and remove all the paddings I'm putting space <laughs> outside the div as I can see here okay and it's not aligning as I wanted let me see let's get rid of those and let's put cover okay so uh, this is something that I want here maybe a telephone after that an email or something like that let's go here and add a text and let's put a telephone one two three four 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 five six seven eight nine I don't know okay and after that maybe a, a button to press for email some icon and I will put here an envelope okay and after that I want not too much space here okay after that I will add another section uh, two columns again no not columns again let's go for one column and I will go ahead and add uh, tabs which tabs may say how to create how to add contact no contact content the second may be how to publish posts and then video tutorial and inside the video you can add a video from your YouTube channel here you can add some uh, content uh, how to create how to publish posts and everything else keep in mind that you must uh, use the minimum space so use tabs use a, a toggle use anything that you want to put more information in the minimum amount of space let's go and save that and let's view it in the front end I will probably put this in the middle okay let's save that I will not style the buttons here I will not style anything you if you are using oxygen you know how it's done if you're not I will uh, put some follow-up uh, videos for oxygen here and as you can see here I don't like it it should be stretched uh, it should be full width 
So let's go here, advanced, sizing, and let's go full width. Okay, and let's go to our margins and put here zero and zero. Okay, and also this div should be a 40. Okay, let's save it and let's go in the front end and view it. Okay, it's better and I will get rid of the upper here space. And maybe I will increase it a little. Not from here, I will increase this one. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save it and refresh the page. Okay, it's a little bit better, uh, but you can understand how you can create all the elements that you want. So, I will grab this URL and I will go to my local environment. This was supposed to be my client's website. And I will go into Settings, Dashboard Switcher. Okay, this is the dashboard right now. Let's go ahead and click here and submit this URL. So let's go and refresh the page. And this is the page that we are now getting. So uh, this is the admin bar. I should go ahead and uh, disable this. Uh, of course, as I have said before, this is a uh, mine website, so I don't need for this purposes to have the admin bar. So let's go here. It's the local host environment. Okay, I want here, but I don't want to leave these pages. So let's go to dashboard. Let's go to appearances, no users, all users. And this is my user. And let's go and disable the toolbar. Okay, update profile. Let's go and see the page. Great. And now let's go and refresh the page. So as you can see, this is the custom dashboard that I have created in two or three seconds. And suppose that I change, I want to change my email, I want to change my phone number, I want to change something. I updated my content, I create new videos, and I wanted every client to have the new URLs or anything else. So let's go ahead and add that, put the word new. Before that, not under. Okay, new. Contact us. Let's go ahead and save. And we're going back to our dashboard. This is our client who is going to log in and now see the new videos and every new content that I have created. So how great is that? And last, let's go here. Additional menu items. I think I, he will add additional menu i don't i don't want to show you this it will be added soon and security is uh, for the iframe and how my website will treat and uh, code that it's not from inside the website so it's for uh, not uh, getting messages and anything else this is great stuff that he was he's adding and i really like the plugin and the way it's going for so this is the page again if you uh, want to buy it now it's 24 bucks and then it will the price will go up to 47 okay so thanks for thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video bye